Uh, here to laugh at Liverpool. No signings shall take place uh, for them. Uh, they got a yes man in Arnie slot. Trent uh, Salah Van Dijk uh, to go on a free uh, Leicester pool in the mud. I did want to ask you about that. There's a big story that's going around today that Madrid it's are really prioritizing. Really like we fully Madrid, Madrid are prioritizing Trent Alexander Arnold. They want to sign him. Obviously, that proves he's a really good player because, as you said earlier, uh, Madrid value him highly. But of course, they have the pool. <laughs> they have you're the all, pool. You're all going to use this the rest of the time. It's going to be used. It's going to be used credit. against you two. It's going to be used against you two for the rest of time. Now, you set the precedent, not me. I didn't set the president for shit. Mo said it. I don't every know why signing you make, I'm going to be checking what his market value was at the time. And that's all we're going to discuss on the show about your players now is their market valuation. <laughs> and did Madrid want to buy them? I didn't bring it up. You two did. So, but it turns out that uh, Madrid are going to make a genuine play for Trent Alexander-Arnold. Is he going to say no to the pull of Real Madrid and stay at Liverpool? Or do you think the beginning of the end as Trent as a Liverpool player is on the cards for Sam? I'm not worried whatsoever, I'll be so honest with you. Uh, I know that the four Musketeers are staying. This happened two months ago with Alisson to <laughs> Saudi and, and Van Dijk to Saudi on the same exact show. I told you guys they're not leaving. I know that all four are going to play next season at least. you know. And then after that, we're going to have to worry. I think probably Mo is going to sign an extension. Trent is going to sign an extension. I would assume that Alisson will probably sign an extension as well. Uh, and it's funny because I was actually the only person on YouTube, Mo will vouch for this, that I was said the only one that I'm really worried about is actually Van Dijk leaving, to be honest. Not the other three. Mo can vouch right now. I fully said that from the start. Uh, but I'm not worried about Trent going to Real Madrid. Listen, at the end of the day, Real Madrid is the biggest club in the world. They're a massive institution. I think they're by far the most attractive club in the world. But at the end of the day, I think Trent is going to stay. Um, and by the way, I don't even know. I think this is more like tactical. First of all, CF Bayern knows fuck all about Liverpool Madrid transfers. It says it in his name, CF Bayern, you know, Christian Falk, Bayern. That's that's his field of expertise. It's not Liverpool and Real Madrid. He's the same guy that said Mo Salah is the number one target for Thomas Tuchel. And he's the same guy that said Erling Haaland is a target for Thomas Tuchel and Lukaku. And then they ended up signing Havertz and Timo Werner. So, yeah, that guy is a little bit fugazi, to be honest with you. But... Uh, yeah, I'm not worried about that. I, th I think that's more like contract negotiation tactics, to be honest with you. Just kind of trying to get a bit more pay or whatever it is, you know, showing that Real Madrid are interested. And besides, um, Real Madrid have Danny Carvajal anyway at right back. Um, I think probably left back is what they need more, to be honest with you. I think that the other side is what they need. And if they want Robertson, I'd happily sell them to to, to the, sell him to them, to be honest with you. That's the one guy I'd happily sell tomorrow. Hey, yeah. Robertson. But, Danny, but Danny Carvajal is 32, turning 33 this season. And what they typically yeah. don't do at Madrid is let players time out. Like they, they, they sort of, they generally replace their better players before they're past their best. What, what do you, no, do you I, see I, I, I agree with that. But as well, you need to keep in perspective the fact that he scows as well. Um, yeah, no, so yeah, when, yeah. That's the only, yeah, that's the only thing. Like, to be, I'm, 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 it's a very tricky situation at Liverpool. The reason why it's a very tricky situation. The the got rid of Jurgen Klopp and if, or, or Jurgen Klopp left. They signed an Arne slot who uh, Sam himself and the majority of Liverpool fans are worried about him. What are Liverpool going to be? Are they going to be a title winning team or are they going to be another title challenging team without winning actually the major honours? Trent Alexander-Arnold has one year left at his contract. Has one year left. In my opinion... Trent, if Real Madrid are offering money to Liverpool now and Trent doesn't want to renew the contract, Trent should go to Real Madrid. The reason why he should go, you don't know what is going to happen. Arne Slot might turn out to be a flop and now Liverpool go into the... Liverpool can go into the tornado that happened at Man United over the past 12 years or 11 years, right? It's, it's very plausible that that happens. The reason why the main pillars at Liverpool are all above 30. Alisson van Dijk, and Mohamed Salah, along with Trent, who has one year left. And if Real Madrid are coming for you now and offering Liverpool a lot of money, I know that Trent is a very important player for Liverpool. Trent can say, I'm going to try myself. If Trent has two or three years left, and some would agree with this, say, yeah, give it a shot for one year, see how it goes with Arne Slot, and then decide next year. But Trent has one year left. Trent, he should go. And Liverpool, if there is an offer and Trent says, I want to try one year and I might go on a free next season, 
if Liverpool look at this and they got offered 70, 80 million pounds for Trent, I know that there is no another other Trent 70, in the world. 70, 80? Are you smoking? There's one year left at his contract, my friend. How much you do you think he's going to get? It's, it's Trent Alexander-Arnold, not Lenny Oro. Have some respect. How, 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 how much do you think he's going to get for one year left at, at Trent's contract? Trent is worth no, be, 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 be honest. Be honest here. 130 Seriously. million minimum. Minimum. You you think you think one year left at Trent's contract, someone is coming to offer 130 the million pounds? No, that'd be well over. Now hang on, hang on. That'd be well overpaying, wouldn't it? You can't Are have you the same it's, it's not the same <laughs> word. I, I don't think you can. Be, I, I don't think oh, you're serious. Oh, that guy to boot. I really don't. No, no, I'm I'm really the way, I don't think you're, Sam is serious, brother. This is a joke. I'm right? being a joke. serious. Trent is the best right back in the world. I'm not being. No, yeah, yeah, no, no. We're not. We're not. We're not disputing. You think 130 million pounds for a player that has one year left? And you have a new manager know, and the project. Anything. Okay, you have to put a lot of factors in here, Hussein. And I'm not fighting you here. The player, if the player says, I want to go and I'm not renewing the contract, it's not going to be 130 million. I'll be honest with you. I say that again. I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. Man United fans are upset at you in the chat. All the super. They are. They can't be upset. They want me to say that Man United are fighting for that. I tried to explain it to them. Some people are just don't want to understand it. I've had people in my chat this morning say to me, literally said, "We signed Lenny Oro. Manchester is red. Manchester United are back." I swear, bro. Until I'm gonna say this again. Man United are doing good business until Eric Ten Hag shows me that he can bring his career back to life at Manchester United, maybe after 10, 15 games, I'm not going to sit here and assume that it's going to work. For me, Eric Ten Hag is the one that has to prove us wrong, not the other way around. That is it. Same as Arna Slob, by the way, following Jurgen Klopp, same. But going back to Man United fans are so upset. Some, you want so much praise, some man, I'm not talking about Terry. Man United fans want us to praise him so much and listen, I praise the Zerkesi thing. I praise that Delic thing. I said Manuel Lagart is good. This Euro thing, you overpaid. And the reason why I'm going to say you overpaid, the money you paid could have been used to strengthen a left back or a right back or something. Because we see here and say it's PSR world. It's a PSR world. Anyway, going back to Trent. Sam, you cannot be just be serious and tell me that Arne Slot Trent should risk his future with Arne Slot. Should he? Why should he risk it? The question to you, back to you, why should Trent risk his future with Arne Slot? Because he's a local and he's playing for the club of his dreams already and he doesn't need to leave. It's very simple. It's the same thing as me coming to you two years ago and going like, why should Nicolo Barella risk his future with Simone Inzaghi? It's okay. You didn't know that Simone Inzaghi was going to win you a league. You wanted him out after yeah. the first year. Adi, it's normal. And if but there Nicolo was money Barella, involved, yes. Second, this is not a shot. Just hear me out. I'm not taking a shot. But yeah. Nicolo Barella said he wants to play for the club that he always grew up loving and he doesn't want to leave Italy. And it's the same thing literally with Trent. Like, here's the thing. He's a local boy. He's a scouser. He's playing for the club of his dreams. He has no reason to leave. Now, when you say risk his future with Arne Real Scott, Madrid. Listen, Real Madrid have a reason. I'm not... No, no, this is true. Real Madrid is the most... Listen, Real Madrid can attract Saka. Real Madrid can attract Palmer. They can attract Trent. They can attract anyone. I'm not denying that. I not just don't Euro. Think, I just... <laughs> sorry, don't be serious. <laughs> I just don't think that's... I just don't think everything that you're saying, Mo, is going to happen this summer specifically. You get it? Okay. I think they're going to give it a go, basically. They're going to give it, like, if you'd like one last dance this season... And then take it from there. Because on the other side as well, Mo, we cannot just be pessimistic or optimistic fully. Let's describe both scenarios. What if they stay? We sign the three players and we win the league next season. Then what? It's a possibility. Don't tell me it's impossible, Yani. It's a possibility. No, it is a possibility. It's a very plausible situation as well. Yeah, okay. That's what I'm saying. So, yeah, but we, that's why, I, that's why I told you. But, but that's why I told you what, what is going to happen to his contract. Okay, but, but that's bro, what do you know saying. why the reason? Do you know I'll why you. this is being surfaced now? Right, hold on. Do you know why this is being surfaced? And Terry mentioned in the beginning, it's because of the contract. It's because of yeah, the one yeah, year left. This yeah. is why it's uh, it's not because it's not because Real Madrid fight, uh, suddenly are looking to get Trent. The guy, his contract ends in twenty twenty five. You have a new manager. He hasn't read the contract. Hence, the biggest club in the world is circling around the best right back in the world. Simple. No, this it's, is it's true. a very simple no, no, equation, this is, Habibi. This is true, the way that you're saying it. I'm, that's why I'm not mad. I'm not shouting or anything because what you're saying is not yeah. crazy. What I'm saying is the following. Listen, you spoke to me two months ago about this, okay? 
And me and you had the conversation. I said, out of the four, the one that worries me is Virgil. And my energy has not changed. I think Trent will sign an extension. I think Ali will sign an extension. I think Mo will sign an extension. The one that worries me is still Virgil van Dijk till this day. If you tell me, who, yo, Hussam, out of the four, who you think has the biggest chance of leaving, I'll say him still till this very second. So I, I think Real Madrid are the most attractive club in the world. I think they could sway multiple players' opinions. Real Madrid could change any player's opinion because they're Real Madrid. This is just the truth. Uh, anyway, by the way, using yeah. your own club again, Barella doesn't want to leave Italy. If Madrid calls, he's leaving. We know this. Like, that's just Madrid level of, of yes. like, you know. But at the end of the day, I think that the players are going to give it one more year at least. And then they will make their decision based based on that. You know? so that's what I what I believe personally. So the only, yeah. the only way I'm seeing this, Terry, is, is Trent renewing the contract and having a release clause. Yes. Exactly. Yeah, what that I might think that might there yeah, that might happen. That might happen. Yeah. Renew, um, renew the contract yeah, until Liverpool. Listen, there is a release clause. If that, I want to go, that, that, here is a release clause. If I want to go, I go. That could certainly happen.